Well, TWRA found over 100 dead rainbow and brown trout in a section of the Clinch River today near Weir Dam. The agency, along with TVA and TDEC, says this large kill has to do with the sudden snap of cold weather and low oxygen levels in the water. 10 News reporter Katie Inman spoke to a Clinch River fishing guide who says this fish kill may impact his business in a negative way. Katie. Robin, the TWRA says this is a natural thing that happens when it gets colder. But now with those bigger trout gone, fishing guides like Mike Bone will have to re-navigate future fishing trips. It's a really good section of the river, especially in the fall, because some of the some of the larger fish move up the river. In, in anticipation of spawn. When Mike Bone took a fishing group out on the clinch Friday morning, he started noticing multiple dead fish floating. Probably saw um, in about a mile stretch of river, a little less, we probably saw 15 larger, you know, larger fish. Which was a first in his 25 year fishing career. But usually it's only one or two, you know, that when, when just seeing one dead fish doesn't concern you a whole lot, but when you start seeing a big number in a small area that that's a different there, there's something else cost it. Yeah, other than, other than that, the TWRA collected 119 dead rainbow and brown trout from one section of the river Friday. TDEC and TVA say when colder winds moved in overnight, it caused the colder, less oxygenated water on the bottom of the river to circulate to the top. They're very sensitive to environmental changes and, and pollution and oxygen, you know, dissolved oxygen, things like that really affect trout. They're, they're, they're a, not as hardy as, as some of the other fish are. TVA's biologists say they're fairly confident that this kill is just a temperature change. And they say the weird dam makes the problem worse by mixing the water up. Mike says less spawning sized fish mean he'll be showing the rest of the river some love for now. There's another 13 miles of river, you know, from here. So yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be fishing, just not right here, <laughs> not this section. Since this discovery today, TVA has decided to stop generation and pulse the river two times per day. They say this will allow the area to recover faster with better temperatures and dissolved oxygen levels. Robin. Katie, thank you. Well, some